Good morning, everyone. I am just starting my Facebook Live a couple minutes early, so hopefully um, you can join me. I'm just going to talk about some of my upcoming classes, um, one of which is my slider class. Um, so that's the card I'm going to show you today. And also just wanted to uh, let you know that I'm going to have a raffle. So if you uh, place a make a comment on this Facebook Live, um, you'll get an entry into the raffle. And if you share this Facebook Live, you'll get an entry into my raffle. And the raffle is going to be for the frosted <clears throat> epoxy um, dots that are in the holiday catalog. They're really cute and I think you'll really like them. Um, let's see, I'm doing a couple things here. So I'm gonna refresh this page. So hopefully I can see your comments as you uh, log in. And let's see if this refreshes. And then I'm gonna show you some of the upcoming classes that I have, um, the projects that we're going to make. Um, I can also do to-go classes out of any of them. So if you're not local, you can uh, let me know that you're interested in a class and I will um, prepare the supplies for you and send them out to you. Um, the class fee is $25 and uh, shipping is $3. So it'll be $28 for the to-go classes. Um, they don't include the stamp set. If you want to include the stamp set or anything else, you can let me know and I can get those for you as well and let you know what the extra cost for those will be as well. All right. Technology. Love it and hate it. Um, this isn't loading. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and get started with showing you some of the projects that we're going to make in my upcoming classes. And I apologize for shaky camera, but I'm going to change the camera to a different position so um, you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, move the camera up to my camera mount here. Try to not shake that much and see if I can get it in there. Okay, I can adjust it as you can see. All right, so here is one of my classes that I'm going to be having on October, Thursday, October 11th. It's my Cauldron Bubble Baker's Box class. The fee is $20 and we're going to make these four boxes. So you can see here we've used the spider web as a mask, super cute. And then we've used the stamp set and colored it in and there's the spider web again. I love the spider web, so I pretty much put it on every box. Um, so spider web again and the cute little cat again. So these would be cute boxes that you could put treats, cookies, donuts, uh, muffin tops, um, bagels, um, any kind of fun treat um, in here. They're food safe and um, they just easily open. Um, I like to just put ribbon on tops and not around so that I'm not impeding anybody opening the box and ruining the design of the box. Um, so we're going to make these four boxes. The class fee is $20 Thursday, October 11th. So if you're interested in joining us local or if you'd like a to-go class, just let me know. You can comment on this video or you can just send me an email um, to elaine at estampin.com. So that's my Thursday class. And um, let me go um, in order a little bit here. So next Thursday, September 22nd, 27th, I'm going to do a Stamparatus Techniques class. And we're gonna learn several techniques using the Stamparatus. So we're gonna learn how to do layering with stamps that have um, different colors. And we're gonna learn how to do a wreath I love this one because I feel like the wreath just comes out perfectly. And um, this is a fun technique by a fellow friend and demonstrator, Jenny Hall, um, layering colors. And uh, this is also Patty Bennett's design. So I love the, the trees from the Winter Woods stamp set. And so we will be layering colors with markers and using the Stamparatus for this card. This one's one of my favorites. And then um, hinge stamping. So hinge stamping um, is a fun technique too on the Stamparatus. So we will be making one of each of these four cards 
in my Stamparatus class and the fee is $20 or you can get the class for free with a $25 order. And then my next class is the slider card class. So we're going to be making this slider card right here that I'm going to be demonstrating this morning as well as this uh, slider card uh, right here. Pretty fun, huh? Um, and then here's how this one opens. This one opens top bottom. So this is the card that I'm gonna be demonstrating today. So that's coming up Tuesday, October 2nd. It was a special request class. Um, I can also do it as a to-go class if you're interested in it, just let me know. The next class is my um, takeout treat box class. Um, we're going to do, at first I thought it was just gonna be Halloween, but actually um, my downline and friend Kelly said I should do all the holidays, so I thought that was a wonderful idea. So um, not only uh, will we do Halloween, so here's some of the Halloween boxes. They're super, super cute. And then I, I did do a lot of Halloween. Um, Halloween, and then this could be Halloween or just a treat. And then I just put some jelly, jelly belly, jelly beans in there. Um, but this um, little box would be great for uh, Valentine's Day. And you could do, you know, both sides, the front and the back decoration, put little Valentine treats in there. You could do it as a Thanksgiving little treat or a thank you treat, or you could do it as a name place for your Thanksgiving table. You could put everybody's names on the little banners and then put a little treat, a gift for them. That would be a cute idea. Um, I saw this one on Pinterest. I think it was a European demonstrator that made it, but I think it's just gorgeous using the frosted floral stamp set. Just beautiful. And so we will be uh, making four boxes in that class. Um, let's see. And then um, the next class will be on a Saturday. It'll be a home decor class. Saturday, October 13th, and we're going to use the high tide and waterfront stamp sets to create a 12 by 12 um, home decor project. Um, it'll include the frame, and so that'll be a really fun home decor class. And then the last class for October um, that I'm going to create is a shimmer paint class. We're going to learn how to use all the shimmer paints on different um, cards and so here's a card using the beautiful blizzard stamp set and the copper shimmer paint so we used it on the rubber stamp and also on some of the die cutouts and then um, here is a card using the Merry Christmas to all stamp set and dies and we I used the shimmer paint on the Merry part so that's gonna be a really fun class too, the shimmer paint class. And then um, you can check my event schedule. I have um, all these other class listed as well for the rest of the year. Um, I can also post a picture of these on my Facebook page and group. But I wanted to go ahead and uh, get started with the slider project. So here's the slider card again. And um, we're using the Signs of Santa stamp set. Super, super cute. And there's um, coordinating designer series paper, memories and more cards, um, kits, and um, enamel pieces. These are the dies. And so the dies cut out most of the images in the stamp set, as well as some of the images from the designer series paper, which is really fun. I really love when Stampin' Up! coordinates the paper with the dies as well. It just adds more possibilities to uh, our creativeness. So this is um, the stamp set that I used. So to start, um, I'm just gonna stamp these images first, and then I'm gonna show you the bones of the card um, so you know how to create it. So I'm just gonna set that aside. And I've got my two pieces um, that I'm gonna use for the top and the bottom and I'm going to use the Memento Black ink 
and we're gonna start with the saying for Santa, wishing you everything on your list. So I'm just gonna ink that up. I'm stamp that on the top. And then we'll ink up the Santa. And then we'll stamp him, make sure he's inked really well. And I wanna uh, do it towards the top. Um, just because we need um, the piece of cardstock to be long so that it, um, it'll work with the slider, but you'll only see the top of the image. You're not gonna obviously see anything, you know, a lot below. Um, so that's why we're stamping towards the top. And then this one, we're gonna stamp towards the bottom because that's where we're going to see the images. So I'm gonna stamp the and more at the bottom. And then I'm gonna stamp the cute little elves. They're so super cute. So the first elf, stamp towards the bottom. Okay. And then the second little elf on top. I'm gonna put them <clears throat> kind of on his head. Kind of fun. And then I'm gonna stamp this little cute wagon. Now it looks like it's gonna go off the page, so um, I'm actually going to mask or stamp I think I'll stamp and wipe off. So there's a couple tricks you can do if you want to exclude um, part of an image from the stamp. So you can either just wipe off what you want to exclude or you can use a post-it note. But um, I'm just gonna wipe off what I don't want. So I want a shorter handle on my wagon. Right there. So I got my shorter handle now. And now the presents. Um, so this is where I am going to mask a little bit. So let me grab my post-it notes. So I'm going to um, place it at the top of my wagon because I want it to look like my presents are sitting in the wagon. And we'll put the presents about here. And then it looks like they're in the wagon, isn't that cute? And then we'll put another um, set of presents teeter-tottering on top. Right, awesome. Okay, so um, I've got these images stamped and now I'm gonna um, stamp the North Pole image. Um, and then these are all colored in with blends. And we'll put the North Pole on there. Okay. So I've got everything stamped. I'll do the two from later. Um, and now I'm going to uh, layer it onto my um, pieces. But first, I'm just gonna show you the mechanics of the card. So um, the first thing that I do when I create a card is I take a piece of uh, just basic um, cheap cardstock, not stamping up, um, uh, cause it's cheaper and I don't really care about it and I'm not gonna be stamping on it or anything. I just wanna keep it as a template. Um, so this is a five and a half by eight and a half inch uh, piece of cardstock and I've scored it at half an inch, three and a quarter and six inches. Um, so this is gonna make up the um, slider card. And then I've used a couple of punches. So I've experimented um, with several different punches. I used the banner punch and then the um, small label punch, but actually I found some better punches. So I'm gonna show you those. So um, this is the template. And then um, here's the piece that I'm gonna use. So I just score and um, 
fold on all the pieces and then this last panel is going to be where I'm going to attach the slider. So I'm going to want to put some notches in here so that it has a place, the piece, uh, the mechanics of it has a place to rest. And so I'm gonna go ahead and use my everyday label punch and I'm just gonna use um, the top of it because I just need a straight um, piece to put um, the piece of cello bag that I'm gonna insert in there. So I'm gonna do it on both sides and I'm gonna try and line them up. Um, I don't really, I'm not that great at measuring. I just kind of eyeball things all the time. So hopefully that lines up. Um, if not, it looks like this is fatter than this. Um, you can just scoot it over a little bit and trim that off. And then um, I cut, uh, I don't know if you can see it, a piece of cello bag right here. And um, I'm going to uh, wrap it around and then just tape it in the back. And I'm going to make sure it's not too tight because if it's too tight, then it, it makes it hard to slide. So I'm just gonna grab some tape and I'm gonna make sure the tape is not wider than my piece of cello because I don't want to attach the cello bag to anything. And there we go. And then um, what I need to do is I need to decide uh, which side is the top. So I'm gonna choose this as my top and I need just a, a little um, place where I can grab the slider pieces. So I'm going to use the Pretty Label Punch to put in these little, and you could use the Circle Punch too. Um, so there's lots of different punches you could use. And then um, once you've punched one side, you can use that as your guide to punch the other, but try not to punch through two pieces of cardstock. Um, sometimes it's just a little bit too much for the punch. So we just need a little area so our fingers can grab the slider in there. So um, that's it for the mechanics of the slider card. Pretty cool, huh? So for this card, um, you're going to place the taped um, area at the top in the back. This is gonna be the front. So that when you slide, this tape piece um, doesn't have to go up over the lip because that might cause problems. Um, so it'll just slide um, up and down on the back side. So just place it at the top. Okay, so now to put the card together, um, we are going to use, I used Real Red and Call Me Clover. So I'm going to grab some Call Me Clover um, cardstock. I thought I had some right here, but I do not. I don't know why. And just going to adhere some pieces. So all of my um, spare pieces of cardstock, I keep in little cello bags with my cardstock. It just helps keep me organized so that um, I have all of my cardstock in one place. So I'm just gonna bring my Stampin' Trimmer in. And it looks like somehow I got some ink on this one. So I have a little sand eraser. These sand erasers can be really helpful sometimes in getting extra or stray ink spots off. So it just, it kind of rubs the paper away. So if the ink didn't um, soak into your paper too deeply, you can just kind of rub that away. Okay, all right. So now I'm just going to adhere this piece. to the Call Me Clover. And I wanna make sure to trim this less than two and a half. Um, because my, um, I want it to fit within my slider piece there. And this I think was at four and a quarter. Okay. Mm 
And then we'll do this piece right here. Okay. And we'll put this at four and a quarter. And we'll trim this off less than two and a half. So I've got my pieces, my slider pieces, and I'm going to place them on here. So I want this top one to be in the front. So I am going to line it up with the top of the card. I'm going to place just a tiny bit of adhesive in between where the cello bag slider is. Um, just at the bottom, maybe two. Um, don't go the whole width, otherwise you'll stick the whole thing down to your card and it won't slide. Don't ask me how I know that. Okay, so now this is our first piece right there. And then the second piece is going to go in behind, in the back, and you're gonna line it up with the bottom and you're just gonna place some adhesive uh, right here at the top. And again, don't go the, the full width there. You wanna make sure that it's not gonna get stuck. Um, and just try to line these two pieces up, okay? And then we've got our slider card mechanics. So you just wanna test it before you seal it up. So just hold it and see if you can, aha, you can pull the top. There we go. I love moving cards, they're just so fun. Anyway, all right, so it works. So now we can seal up the card, so we can use um, some tear and tape. We want something a little bit stronger than snail adhesive um, because it's gonna get a lot, any kind of movement card or a box, you wanna use a stronger adhesive. So we can just seal that up. Um, yeah, and I didn't color with the blends, um, but I can go back and do that later. I can go back in there. And then um, we can also layer this. So we can layer this on here. We can do that to get our North Pole here, and then um, I used some sheer white, Whisper White ribbon to tie around, but I went ahead and attached the two from on, so it's not just flapping everywhere. So it's stuck down and then just tied the little bow. So that is how you create a slider card. Um, super fun, not too hard. Um, tried to make it easier by creating the template for you. So um, just take a still shot of that, five and a half by eight and a half, score at one half, three and a quarter and six, and then remember to punch the two sides of the last panel and the tops of the other two panels. And that is a slider card. And you can do all kinds of slider cards. Um, you can do them horizontal, you can do them vertical. So this one is with the Making Spirits Bright stamp set. And so uh, you can see that it goes horizontally, so that's kind of fun. And I went ahead and punched on both ends so that you could pull on this end or you could pull on this end, depending if you're left or right-handed. Um, so these are really fun cards. Um, let me know what you think of these cards. And um, if you are interested in attending my class locally, again, it's going to be Tuesday, October 2nd at 10 a.m. or 7 p.m. So you can come in the morning or the evening, just RSVP so that I know to prepare supplies for you. The class is going to be $20. And if you want the to-go class, um, it will be $23 and I will ship it, uh, all the supplies to you and um, the mechanics and everything, and um, then you can create your own slider cards. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Um, sorry I wasn't able to get my laptop 
going. Um, it's just circling and circling. So I apologize if there were any comments and I didn't see them, but I will go back and check them out. If there are any comments, um, let me know. And also, um, again, I'm doing a raffle. So if you enter my raffle, you can comment to enter the raffle and you can share this video to enter the raffle. And the raffle is for some really lovely epoxy. Let me go grab them really quick. Frosted clear epoxy droplets. So if you want some free frosted clear epoxy droplets, please leave a comment and please share this Facebook Live and you'll be entered in my raffle and I will announce the winner tomorrow at noon. So please comment and share today. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next week with another project.